Hello, people of YouTube. This is Gray's Guitars. My name is Steve Gray, and thank you for watching. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell, leave a like, and feel free to comment down below what you would like me to do for future music-related and guitar-related content. So today, we are talking about the Rob Chapman statement. A while back, I talked about the Rob Chapman Exposed video. Um, then I did an update on that once I got more information. And now we got a little bit more information now where it's basically an apology. Uh, so he knows he messed up. He said he's sorry for it. He said he was acting like a child. He was like, oh, I'm going to be a whole high and mighty. But in reality, inside, he's just a scared little kid. And he knows he messed up. And my guess, the reason that he's doing this is probably because the views and subscriptions to have his channel have probably gone down a little bit since uh, the KDH video came out, um, since everybody started talking about this as well. And uh, my guess is he is trying to get some of his fans back that left because of the incident. I personally think that this whole apology thing, like he already put himself in the doghouse. All he's doing is deepening the depth of that doghouse at this point in time. Um, I, I really don't care at this point that you're making this apology video. And the reason I say that is because you know you messed up almost immediately after posting the video, after all of the hate you got on it, um, after commenting, oh my god, on that one post where that person found out where KDH lived and everything about him. And you should have made this video within a week or so of you posting the original My Truth video. Because you know you messed up, you know you did wrong, I know you had Nam going on at the time, but this was a four minute video that you made and it could have easily been made almost immediately after you posted that video. And then you might have gotten more sympathy, you, got a, you might have gotten more of your fans back, but posting it this late out, two months out after the incident, all you're doing is rekindling the incident. All you're doing is allowing people to look back at the original video, to look back at KDH's video, and to look back at all the other information that's out there that has been posted about the incident. So at this point in time, it was pretty died down. You know, not a lot of people uh, were caring about the topic anymore. It's been two months, whatever you think about Rob Chapman the way you do now. It is what it is. It's not going to really change your opinion on him. And this video isn't really going to change your opinion of him either, in my personal opinion. Um, you can't just release another apology video doing it the correct way uh, after you already messed up super, super bad. Because now everybody, as I said, is just going to look back at the original video and remember what you did because it's on there for everybody to see still. And it doesn't matter that you're apologizing for it. The fact is that you did it. You can't undo what you did, and that's it. Your apology at this point to me is meaningless, and probably many other people is meaningless as well. Uh, I think it's just a waste of time, and you can take that apology and put it where the sun don't shine, because at this point in time, it is worthless to me and probably many of your other previous fans as well. And that's that's all she wrote. I mean, I'm going to continue to watch Anderton's videos. I like those. Um, but I, I really haven't watched a Rob Chapman video in a very long time. I think I am technically still subscribed because I'm trying to keep updated with the news as it comes out. But um, other than that, that's all she wrote for that. I mean, this is just a useless video to me. All you're doing is just putting yourself further down the rabbit hole, further into the doghouse, whatever eulogy you want to use. It, it shouldn't have even been made. This He should have just continued with what he was doing, ignored it, the rest of the situation, and just kind of moved on. He said, I know you guys think I was ignoring the situation because he was ignoring the situation. If you ignore it, you don't acknowledge it, uh, typically it would go away, like he should have done with the original KDH video. He shouldn't have addressed it at all. He should have just ignored it, moved on with his life, ignored people that were commenting on his videos about that incident, and just as I said, went along doing reviews and amp videos and guitar videos, you know, promoting Chapman Guitars, his brand, etc., and just doing that. But, you know, whatever. It is what it is. Let me know what you think in the comments. My name is Steve Gray. This is Gray's Guitars, and as always, have a good one.